Welcome to Understanding Domain Names Part 2. Uh, in this part we're going to look at second level domain names, um, the IBM part of a domain name. Now, most companies when they come onto the internet they will attempt to use the company name as the second level domain name as IBM have done here. Um, when I came onto the internet my company is called Cope Consulting Limited. Uh, my first choice, well my preferred choice of domain name was copeconsulting.com. Now that domain name was already allocated so I couldn't have it and so I had to look for alternatives. Now alternatives are copeconsulting.net, copeconsulting.org, copeconsulting.biz. Um, if I wanted to stick with uh, non-geographic top level domain names uh, my company is actually UK based and so I actually uh, opted for a UK domain name so I chose a .co.uk uh, top level domain name uh, a geographic one and so the actual domain name is copeconsulting.co.uk it's the one I, I currently use now if I hadn't wanted to use that and I wanted to stick with the .com as the top level domain name as lots of people do then I would have to start varying the second level domain name. I couldn't just use Cook Consulting. So what we'd look for is variations of that second level domain name. And here are a couple of examples here. Uh, I could use CookConsultingServices.com uh, or I could start to separate the words in, in this with hyphens or underscores. So I could use Cope-Consulting.com and we're going to look at that in the next video. We're going to look at using hyphens and underscores in domain names. You'll find a lot of websites using them. Uh, we're going to look at whether they're necessary and why they were used in, in the past and if you are going to use them, which ones you should use. So until uh, the next part, uh, bye.